You're watching ABC4 News. Welcome back. Another teachers union representing educators in Utah is the American Federation of Teachers. Joining us now for the conversation as we get ready to head back to school is president of ATF here in Utah, Brad Acey. Brad, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Glenn. Appreciate the opportunity. You bet. Uh, important conversations to be had this year, no doubt. Let's start off with uh, what we're seeing in Salt Lake County. Uh, the executive director of the health department uh, recommending a mask mandate for students K through six. What is uh, your organization's stance on that? Uh, we support Dr. Dunn to the discussion. We believe that she gave very accurate uh, information to the council uh, based on the science uh, of what was happening. We appreciated all the work that she has done uh, to bring this to light with the council and we support her completely on issuing that mass mandate for uh, students from 11 to 5. Uh, do you think it should have gone beyond that? Uh, students older than, than uh, 12 and up as well? Well Dr. Dunn is in a really tough spot and I appreciated what uh, she said about uh, those that were unvaccinated and didn't have the ch opportunity to be vaccinated. I mm -hmm. think that was a very good point on her part pushing for that. We're grateful that we got that. Do we believe that mass mandates could have gone further? Uh, at times, yes, we do as a, as a union. Uh, anything to protect students, but uh, students that are 12 year olds, uh, 12 and older, do have the opportunity to be vaccinated and we would mm -hmm. hope that they would and we hope that parents would support their students and get them vaccinated. Okay, to my knowledge, Salt Lake County has the only one that's made this request uh, to, to this point. Would you support seeing that in other counties as well? Yes, we would. Uh, we will support and we, we do support any uh, health, county health department as they make these recommendations based on the science mm -hmm. and based on their findings and their locale. We will support them in that because we believe that they are doing what is best for students and trying to protect students just as uh, teachers, school districts, mm -hmm. and others are. This ultimately is up to county councils and then potentially the legislature. Uh, are, what are your concerns as, as we head into the school year on the likelihood that these mass mandates are not going to be in place at that level? Well, we're definitely concerned of spikes with the Delta variant and uh, as Dr. Dunn and others uh, around the nation have said that there may be an increase in students getting sick and, and heaven forbid uh, any students passing away. We recognize how dangerous this variant is even though others may not think that it is. Uh, we need to protect students and we're very concerned as are faculty and staff in our public schools that are concerned about these spikes and hoping uh, that they will not be uh, as severe but they could be. Uh, what are you hearing from teachers on this level? Yeah, again, a lot of anxiety going into this school year, mm -hmm. uh, concern of how to protect uh, students, uh, making sure that there's enough PPE, uh, that protocols are in place in schools. There uh, has been somewhat good uh, communication between schools and their staff, but still we do hear of areas where it's lacking, where at the last minute of school is getting ready to start up, there wasn't a lot of protocols in place. and. Mm -hmm. Faculty and staff were not sure exactly how to go about things and we're hoping that we don't have shortages in PPE and uh, things like that, uh, disinfectants like we did at the beginning of last year. I'd really like to get your uh, thoughts from the education standpoint. We know a lot of students fell behind last year. Uh, how are things looking as far as getting students back on track? And, and take for example, kindergartners from last year. They may not have had the foundation they really needed to move on. The one great thing in Utah is that we have very uh, professional uh, faculty, uh, teachers, and, and staff that support them. We believe wholeheartedly that the teachers are going to bring them back quickly, that they will do whatever is necessary to uh, work with those students one-on-one. -on -one. And we have all the confidence in the world in uh, our teachers and uh, support staff to do that. We believe they will come back quickly. And you know what? Students are very resilient and they do learn in great environments. And we believe that uh, these professionals will uh, establish that uh, learning environment in the classroom. Yeah, so when you, we're confident. When you talk about student resiliency, we really saw it last year. And it's quite impressive when you take a look at how our students were able to adjust to an unprecedented year and uh, w what they did. Much more than the adults in a lot of cases. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for uh, being here with us. All right, coming up, we sit down with uh, our teachers panel to talk about what they are thinking about heading back to school.